Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will look into how to create these kind of abstract cloth inflation in Autodesk Maya, using NCloth Dynamics. Whether you're a beginner or looking to refresh your skills, this tutorial will guide you through a basic knowledge about NCloth, and to incorporate dynamic cloth simulations into your own projects. So let's get started. So here we are in Maya. Let's take a cylinder. And I will increase the subdivision's height over here. Let's keep it 15. I will increase the height of the cylinder. Let's keep it to 4. And also I will add some subdivision's caps. Let's keep it 5. Now let's create some patterns on the cylinder. So for that, go to edge mode, and from front view, I will drag and select all these edges, leaving the top and the bottom ones. Now go to create, then to sets, and select the set option box. I will rename it as extra edges. And then click on apply. What it does is, if you go to the outliner, you can find an extra edges node is created. And if you right click on it, and click on select set members, then it will select all the edges which are inside these node. Now go to face mode, and select all these faces. Then by holding shift, right click, select poke face. Now if you turn on the wireframe mode, you can see all the edges are connected together. Now then, right click on this node, and select set members. And then by holding shift key, right click, and select delete edge. It will delete the extra edges, and in this way you can create this kind of swirly edge flow. Now let's go to face mode, select this face loop, and leaving the next three, select this one. And then continue to select like this. Then from top view, drag and select these faces, and it will select the faces from the bottom as well. And then select these connecting face loops on the top cap. And from the bottom cap as well. After selecting all these faces, holding shift key, right click, and select duplicate face. Now select both these objects, click on these three buttons to center pivot, delete history and freeze transformation. And in this way, you can quickly create this kind of swirly pattern objects. Now I will extrude this object, and give a thickness of 0.06. Now I will add one edge loop in between all these edges. And then I will apply smooth on this object. And increase the divisions to 2. Now uncheck the isolation button. This cylindrical object will be our cloth. So I will select this object, and slightly reduce its size. Let's keep it 0.98. And then select both of these objects, and click on Freeze Transformation. Now then, let's change this modeling tab to FX tab. Select this cylinder, go to end cloth, and select Create end cloth. Then select this other object, go to end cloth, and select Create Passive Collider. Now I will apply smooth on the cylinder, and give a divisions to 3, so that the cloth have enough subdivisions to work properly. 
Now let's change the starting frame to 1. And let's keep the end frame as it is. And if I hit the play button, you can see the cloth is going down, and the passive collider is also working fine. But I don't want the cloth to fall down, I want it to be in the same spot. So for that, go to Outliner, and select the Nucleus, and then from Attribute Editor, I will just reduce the gravity to zero. And now if I hit the play button, you can see the cloth is staying in that position only. And make sure your playback speed is set to play every frame max real time. Now since the gravity is set to zero, the cloth is not moving from that spot. Let's make this cloth inflate from that position. So select this mesh, then from Attribute Editor, you will find Pressure Channel, under the End Cloth Shape 1 tab. Let's increase the pressure value to 10, and let's see how is it affecting the cloth. As you can see, the cloth is getting inflated, and it is getting out of the passive collider. Let me show you what is exactly happening with the cloth. I will select this geo and I will keep it in a layer for now. Now if I hit the play button. It seems that the cloth is still interacting with the passive collider. Let me just delete this passive collider for now, and let's hit the play button. Now as you can see, the cloth is getting inflated, due to the pressure value which we added just now. Let's undo this to get back my passive collider. So here what is happening is that the cloth is inflating, and it is interacting with the passive collider, giving this kind of abstract shape to the geo. But as you can see, there is some gaps in between these two objects. So to fix this, select this cloth geo, and under end cloth shape 1, change this solver display to collision thickness. And now this yellow object is the actual cloth dynamics which is interacting. I will just reduce the value of thickness to 0 0.010. You can also check the self-collision thickness from here, and you can manage the value from here. But I will keep it as default. And now I will also change the value of collision thickness for this passive collider. I will keep the value same as the cloth. And now for the cloth settings, I will reduce the stretch resistance to 5, so that the cloth is more stretchy. I will increase the friction value to 1, and stickiness value to 0.5. Also for the passive collider I will change the friction value to 0.5, and stickiness to 0.5 as well. And now select the cloth, then I will reduce the mass value to 0.2. I am keeping these values because I have experimented with these settings earlier with couple of trial and error. You can play with these settings and see what looks best for you. And now the pressure is looking too much over here. Let's reduce the pressure value to 2 and let's see how it looks. So you have to play with these settings and see what looks best for you. So let's keep the animation somewhere here, and I have a basic skydome light over here, with one HDRI assigned to it. And I turn off the camera from here so that I don't get the image in the background. Now let's assign a new material on this object. I will select AI standard surface. 
Let's select a preset. I will choose ceramic from here. And then I will change the color to yellow. And now I will select this object and assign a new material to it. I will select AI standard from here. And let's select a preset like gold. And then I will change the color of this one as well. So in this way, you can make different abstract shapes using Encloth and Autodesk Maya. So guys, I hope you like this tutorial. Subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications first whenever there is any new video in my channel. Feel free to ask me anything regarding this video in the comments section. Stay safe, and I will see you on the next video.